Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. Oh, hello. Welcome. Congratulations, viewer. You have found us. This is shared knowledge, where we mine for knowledge, we dig for knowledge, we search for knowledge wholeheartedly. You have found me reading the Bible in the book of Hosea chapter 4. In your own free time, you can read the whole chapter in order to get the context. But something has popped out for me in verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Two things. Number one, you can be destroyed because you lack knowledge. And you can be rejected by our Heavenly Father because you have rejected His knowledge. Here, we do not reject knowledge. Knowledge is stored out in our brains. Join us as we look for that knowledge, as we mine for that knowledge. Today, we are in the streets of Kahawa West as we ask people what they have learned from the recently concluded general elections. Join me. We are joined here today with Timothy uh, Wawero. Timothy Wawero. First of all, I would like to thank you for the pleasure that you have afforded me for allowing me to interview you. Okay? Yes. What is your occupation? My occupation, I'm a teacher by profession. Do you love your occupation? I love my occupation. Mm -hmm. um, relatively, for it was my second uh, option uh, in my career. What was your first option? It was engineering, electrical engineering, mm -hmm. um, which was not uh, possible at that time. Mm -hmm. So I opted to take my second option. Okay, okay. Do you plan on pursuing your first option sometime in the future? Yeah, I've been pursuing my first option, mm -hmm. uh, Patri, mm -hmm. um, though not to that great level mm -hmm. that uh, um, I would have done it when I was young, mm -hmm. but uh, what I'm doing now to the occupation that I'm doing, I am uh, trying to perfect on it. So what I'm doing is as to get to a level of a uh, thin line where I'm not so much uh, in competition, uh, uh, that is furthering education and uh, mastering some of the areas that I can be um, be best in them okay i wish you all the best and now to the main question we have just had a general election we thank god that it was peaceful what have you learned from the elections um from the general election that we have concluded i have uh, uh learned much of uh, uh depending on prayer now that uh, we have a new government where in the first case we are not thinking that it will be in, it will be in existence. Um, I was so much encouraged that uh, through what Christians did, it was very evident. So uh, that's what I learned so much about. We should keep praying even when things seem they are not working. We should continue praying for prayer works. Okay. Asante sana, brother Timothy. We are here with Maureen. Pauline Nani. Waidera. Pauline Waidera. I would like to thank you for giving me an opportunity to interview you. What is your occupation? My occupation? <laughs> Unafanyanga kazi gani? Kuhuza mayai na smoke. Okay. Do you think that that is your calling from God? Ama you have another calling? a calling from God because I asked him to show me the will and he showed me 
Now I started a business. I believe that is going to do more and more in my business. Oh, okay. Amen. He's a God who works miracles and he's going to do it. In the recently concluded general elections, what have you learned? I have learned that there is God in heaven. No matter what you are going through, or, or despite the challenges that you are going through, God, everybody who plays and everybody who follows God will always show him all hard the way. In this election, we have seen that Luto, he has been fighting a lot of battles, but all in all, God so him the way we believe that our nation that our country will grow especially to us we are calling ourselves hasra we will see his way the god wonders amen thank you for your time have a wonderful week thank you kazi yako inapatikana hapa ka west corner sindio ndio unaweza pata stall yake so kila mtu ambaye ako ka west pitieni hapa Kwa na nani? Uh, mimi ni kwa majina ni Kelvin Mugambi. Kelvin Mugambi. Yeah. Okay. First of all, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to interview you. Uh, Mr. Kelvin Mugambi, what is your occupation? Currently, I'm a finance officer and a receiver boss, but it is not the only area I can do. Also, currently, I'm pursuing also my economics masters. So there is no area I can't explore. So it's just that currently I'm in finance, but even I can do other areas. Oh, okay. And what do you think is your calling from God? Uh, in church or in... in no, part, in, in your life. In my life. Yes. I think I've been called to serve in the church. Even in the church, I, I can serve any ministry, but more so in instruments in yeah. praise and worship yeah in praise and worship yeah and i do see you and you are doing a good job yeah, thank you thank you okay in the recently concluded general elections yeah what can you say that you have learned from the whole from the campaigning even up to the election process i think uh, it brings a picture of uh, uh don't fear to dream because uh nobody thought our our current president now we have uh, Dr. William uh, Samuel Ruto will be our president. So one thing I have learned in life, never fear to dream, do all your level best, then leave everything to God. Okay. Yes. Very profound words. Thank you and have a great week. Asante. Habari yako? Mzuri. Nikipenda kukushukuru kwa kunipatia opportunity ya kukuinterview. Karibu sana. Aya, unaitwa nani? Na kwa majina naitwa Zipora Gadhoni Kagiri. Zipora, unafanya kazi gani? Mimi nafanya kazi ya bibarua. Yeah. Yeah. E, na una face which challenges katika hiyo kazi na unaipenda hiyo kazi yako? Kazi yangu naipenda sana. Mm. Kwa saa hii kuna challenges, challenge nyingi iko ni kwamba kila mtu ako chini. Mm. E, kila mtu hana fedha, kila mtu analia. Eh maisha imekuwa chini kidogo. Yeah. Yeah, and we hope for the best. Yeah, Tunamwaminia Mungu. Tunamwaminia Mungu mambo yeah. itakuwa sawa. Eh. Yeah. 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 Na in the recently concluded general elections, yeah. umeweza kujifunza nini? Nimejifunza mambo kadhaa. Mm -hmm. Nimeona watu walikuwa na amani nikiwa mmoja wao. Yeah. Atakuwa na mafurugano kile kilikuwa tunatarajia kutakuwa na vita kukuwa nayo mwagikaji wa damu wa kukua alafu kitu kingine nilijua niligundua kukuwa na ukabila mm. sio vile ati walikuwa wanafanya ati huyu tunavutia huyu kwa sababu huyu ni kabila ile tu hapa na kukuwa na hilo so nimeona kukuwa na unity mm. umoja mm. na hiyo tunashukuru Mungu sana 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 eh haya asante kwa muda wako kuwa na siku njema pia wewe ubarikiwe asante praise god amen Kwa majina kwa majina naitwa Paul Wagunya Mwiga na nimeokoka na nampenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Hayo ni mema pia mimi nimeokoka na nampenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Mm. Uliokoka mwaka upi? Na niliokoka the year 2000 uh, 2017. 2017. Yeah. Na tangu uokoke. Yeah. Maisha yako yamebadilika vipi kuanzia before uokoke na uokoke? Eh, maisha yangu yamebadilika sana. 
kwa sababu kitambo ni mjua Mungu najua kuokoka ni kumjua Mungu na kitambo ni mjua Mungu kuna mambo ilikuwa inaendelea huko lakini kutoka niokoke mambo ikawa imebadilika na maisha imebadilika sana sawa tunashukuru Mungu tumekuwa na uchaguzi mwaka huu mm. Unaweza sema umejifunza nini kuanzia e, wakati wa campaign hadi uchaguzi? Okay, kutoka wakati wa campaign kuna kitu moja nimejifunza naye. Juu mimi kaida nilikuwa nafuata William Ruto sababu ya ile faith imani alikuwa naye. Yaani anasema inaonekana ni kama imetendeka. Yeah? Mm. So nilikuwa na namfuata na sana na nikawa inanitia mo, inanitiwa nguvu kwa sababu chochote unaweza sema inaweza tendeka yeah? ukiangalia vile alikuwa anafanya kampeni zake na nikajifunza ya kwamba hata ukichukiwa sio mwisho wa jambo yeah? mwisho itakuwa mzuri yeah. sawa na kabla ni kuachilie unafanya kazi gani nafanya pare town grogo mimi ni mtu wa motor vehicle electrician lakini niko na ofisi na deal na spare parts za gari sales and services za motor vehicle yeah. na pia kwa kabla tumalizie kabisa what is your calling ni nini mwito wako kutoka kwa Mungu Mungu amekuita ufanye nini katika hii dunia mwito wangu ni kumtumikia Mungu ni kumtumikia Mungu kumtumikia Mungu hiyo ndiyo mwito yangu okay yeah sawa asante kuwa na wiki njema asante how are you i'm fine what is your name i'm sarah wamboy sarah wamboy what is your occupation ah uh, option marriage occupation uh, job As, uh, or job. i work in an impressa mm -hmm. yeah is that your calling from god yeah i love business or oh, you love business yeah. and how can you say you have impacted the world through your business through your local community <laughs> i've changed lives I've, i i i encourage people yeah. okay that is good mm -hmm. um in the recently concluded general elections mm -hmm. what have you learned I've learned that people have got their own stance no matter what whoever they decide is mm -hmm. whatever you give them they don't care but they just stand with that person. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, thank you for your op op opinions. And where is your shop located? Uh, west along PCA. Along PCA. Mm. Okay, thanks for your time. Have a wonderful day. You're welcome. How are you my brother? Um, I'm fine, thank you. What are your names? My name is Victor Agali. Victor Agali. Yes. Um, I can see that you have dreadlocks. Yes, I do. What is the ideology behind uh, your putting of the dreadlocks? Um, I love uh, my look. It is uh, where, like, I'm just confident having the hair that way. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it's my thing. Okay. And what is your occupation? Uh, right now, I work as a music teacher. Wow. Where? Yeah. Uh, I work with a company called Molded Talent Center. And uh, with that, we offer music classes in primary school. So currently, um, we are offering the services in six schools around Kawa West. Oh, okay. Yeah. And is that your calling? Do you believe that that is your calling from the Lord? Uh, yes, that is part of the calling. So I am a creative. Um, I do uh, music and uh, also film. So that is part of the thing. But uh, mainly, I'm looking to venture into the film industry as a, a film entrepreneur, as art entrepreneur. Oh wow. Yes. That is very interesting. Yeah. I wish you the best in everything. Thank you very much. In the recently concluded general elections, yes. what can you say that you have learned from the process of um, campaigning mm -hmm. to the whole election period mm -hmm. and uh, even to the Supreme Court ruling? Um uh, I'll not go into the details of uh, the Supreme Court ruling and uh, you know that is all the stuff we've seen but uh, my my observation the main thing I observed in the past uh, general election is that um, um, our voting uh, um, like that group that is um, uh, voting now is uh, becoming revolutionary and um, um, people are now starting to vote uh, with understanding. It is not because of who I love or who I don't, uh, because you realize there was a lot of crossing flaws um, 
uh, someone would not say that someone got their votes from their stronghold. You could get arguments from different regions of the country um, and um, generally concrete views of you know, the reason why they were voting, whoever they voted. So I am learning that we are growing uh, democratically as a country and we are also, um, you know, growing um, perspectively, like uh, people can vote now with understanding. Okay. Yeah. So those are very profound views. Have a great week. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What is your name? My name is Anne Nganga. And what is your occupation? My occupation is I, I, I am a business lady. You're a business lady. Yes. Where is your business located? My business is located here in Kaha West. And what do you do? Uh, I, 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 sell, uh, I sell products of beauty. Okay. And do you think that that is your calling from God or do you have another calling? Yeah, I think it's a calling from God because I am serving humanity. And when you're serving people, you're serving God. So in one way or the other, I'm serving God in that business. Okay. In the recently concluded general elections, mm. what can you say that you have learned? Uh, in, this, uh, in the last election this year, uh, uh, but this election was such a, 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 an, an, an election to, to praise God for because I can say that uh, since 2007, when we had uh, violence after elections, uh, the church in Kenya had an awakening and uh, we realized that we are not supposed to sleep every time there is an election. And uh, we realized that it's not, but things should not be taken casually. Just because we have an election, we take it uh, casually. And uh, this election, the people of God prayed and uh, I am one of them who believed God for this election. And one thing we were praying is that God to give us a leader who will have the heart of God, who will favor the church, who will be the voice of God in this nation. And uh, this, uh, after praying and uh, sorting God over it, God gave us a leader finally, and gave us a leader that we believe that this leader is from God's heart. And we believe this leader will lead us according to God's will in this nation. And uh, another thing that we see in this election is that there was peace uh, after election, in the election and even after the election, the day after election, everything went on normal. There was nothing that, uh, there's nobody who was uh, fighting another, nobody who took something from another person, nobody was harming another. Immediately after election, everything went back normal. So we thank God for that. We don't take it for granted that we have election and we have peace. Uh, after uh, the IBC did what they did and declared the winner, those who opposed went to court peacefully and uh, the court uh, judged the matter and everything went on normal. So we thank God because of the peace that we see and we are believing that the leaders that God has given us will take us the other step of this nation and will rule us according to God's will. Okay. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful week. Amen. Thank you. Niko na nani hapa? Kuna job. Job? Yes. Job nani? Job Okumu. Job Okumu. Mm. Okay, Mr. Job Okumu. Yes. Unafanyanga kazi gani? Eh, kazi yako ni biashara. Ah, si biashara. Hii kazi ya kuasa na kujenga. Kujenga manyumba yani. Oh, kujenga manyumba. Mm. Na unapenda hiyo kazi? Sana. Sana. Mm. Kwa nini? Sababu natonga riziki yangu. Oh, okay. Na mwito wako kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Ni upi? Mwito wangu mwanzo ni kumushukuru sana. Kwa vile huwa na nazesha mara mingi naenda na pata job kama njyo. Na sikuizi mekua shida na pata siku moja, pata pata siku ne. Nona? Yeah. Kina shukuru mungu sabu saidi mebalikuwa kiasi na fanyafanyi wa pai saidi. Ndomana mwito wangu kusema, yeah. kumushukuru sana. Ok. Yeah. Sawa. Kwa uchaguzi uliopita, mm -hmm. saki ni kuulize kama ulipiga kura ama ukupiga kura. Mm -hmm. Lakini, najua kuna kitu ambacho ulieza kuona na kusoma. Mm -hmm. Uneza tuelezea, uliweza kuelewa nini ama kuunderstand nini kutokana na uchaguzi? Eh, kwa uchaguzi huu na shukuru mungu sana sababu ulikuwa amani, ulikuwa huru na haki. Sasa nasema hivi, 
Kwanza mwanzo ni kushukuru Mungu sana sababu uchaguzi ulikuwa wa haki na na ukweli. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Hata 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 nyinyi walishindwa. Yeah. Watu walikuba. Walikuba. Sisi tuko sawa. Tuko sawa. Na tunashukuru Mungu sababu ya amani yametuweka. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Sawa. Asante sana kuwa na wiki njema. Yeah. Asante. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What is your name? My name is Josephine Orwa. Yes. What is your occupation? I am a therapy specialist. I deal with dialysis, uh, acute therapies, critical care in ICU. Oh, where do you work? I work for a company called Baxter. So I am a consultant in many hospitals within the country. And do you think that your occupation is your calling from God? Oh yes, it is. This is my form of tent making. Yes, but in the process of my occupation, I have met uh, people with a lot of need for the Lord and I have been placed in a position where I have seen life starting and life ending. And for that reason my calling from God to minister to these people, I believe my occupation is one of it. Okay. In the recently concluded general elections, what have you learned? Oh, these general elections, I've learned so many things, but one greatest thing is this never ever despise anybody and never ever look down upon anyone and when you see a man or a woman for that matter cry before god never mock them and never mock god because god brings a turn around and as the singer once sang wa nao kudharau kwa kwa nao kudharau siku moja kwa heshima it is it is very present. So I have learned that never darrow anybody. Okay. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful week. Thank you. Thank you so much. Habari yako ndugu? Ah mzuri sana. Kwa majina? Ah naitwa David. Na nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana. Haya tunashukuru. Na pia mimi nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana. Amen. Unaweza niambia uliokoka lini? Ah niliokoka nikiwa nikiwa class 7. Uh, that should be back uh Back 2000. 2000. Yes. Na unaweza kusema umeona any changes positive or negative tangu uokoke? Yeah. Nikianza na kusema kuokoka ni jambo la maana sana. Biblia inasema ya kwamba waliompokea Mungu aliwapatia uwezo wa kufanyika wana wake. Na unapokutana na mzazi na mtoto wake utapata kuna zile baraka mtoto anapokea kukua na ile 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 kuitanisha na baba yake. So vile kuitanisha na Mungu Mungu amekuwa baraka sana katika maisha yangu. Nimeona maisha yakibadilika kila siku. And actually kama naweza kuhimiza mtu ile jambo naweza kumuhimiza ni ya kwamba aweze kumpokea Mungu, uh, mungu ama Yesu katika maisha yake na maisha yake iweze kubadilika. So nimeona matumai uh, nimeona baraka mingi sana tangu niokoka nimeona mabadiliko mingi sana ambayo yamekuwa ya manufaa katika maisha yetu ya maisha yangu. Siezi regret kukua nimeokoka. Okay. Yes. Na unafanya kazi gani? Mimi nafanya kazi ya electronics. Mm -hmm. uh, tunafanya sell, sales and repairs. Tuko hii maeneo ya Kawa West. Oh. Yes. Na unaweza sema mwito wako kutoka kwa Mungu ni kufanya nini katika hii dunia? Ah, uh, mwito wangu ku, kwa hii dunia ni ya kwamba wakati nilianza hii kazi ilikuwa ni kama ni wito kutoka kwa Mungu. Kwa hivyo ni kazi ambayo naifanya na furaha sana kujua kwamba ninapotumikia watu wake natumikia Mungu. Kwa hivyo ni kazi ambayo naifanya kwa roho moja kujua kwamba ni ana manufaa kabisa na ni jambo la maana kabisa nikitumikia watu wa Kaa West kwa hiyo mambo nikijua ni kazi ya Mungu ambayo naifanya. Okay. Yeah. Na tumekuwa na uchaguzi mwaka huu. Unaweza sema umeelewa nini katika the whole process ya uchaguzi? Na what have you learned? Asante sana jambo la kwanza uchanguzi umekuwa wa amani sana. Hilo ni jambo ambalo tunaweza shukuru Mungu. Uh, jambo lingine ambalo nitasema nimeona hii uchanguzi Mungu akitumia watu ambao walikuwa hawana jina na Mungu akaweza kuwainua wakawa watu ambao ni wa, ni, ni watu wakubwa. Kwa mfano kama our own president amekuwa ni mtu ambaye amelelewa kwa mazingira ya chini kabisa actually anajiita haslaman na nimeona Mungu akitumia watu na kuwainua kwa levo ingine. kwa uchanguzi pia nimeona ya kwamba watumishi wa Mungu wameweza kusimamia uh, mahali pao na wakaweza kuudhirisha kwamba Ukristo unaweza kusimamisha inji 
tumeona watu wa Mungu wakitoka na kuingia state house tumeona watu wa Mungu wakitoka na kusimama katika pengo na kuombea hii nchi kwa hivyo hii uchanguzi umekuwa uchanguzi wa maana sana kujua kwamba wa Kristo wameweza kusimamia uh, uh, their faith uchanguzi ukawa wa maana kimalizia tumeona uchanguzi umekuwa wa maana IBC kafanya kazi mzuri tukatoka pale tukaenda Supreme Court watu wa judiciary wakafanya kazi mzuri na sifa na utukufu zikaza kumrudia Mungu Amen Amen Asante sana kuwa na wiki njema Pia wewe kuwa na wiki njema nashukuru How are you I'm fine thank you What is your name My name is Reverend Mary Ambuka Reverend Mary Ambuka What is your occupation I am a pastor and an executive pastor so I handle most of the meetings and programs of the church and also I'm a counselor by profession. Okay. And what is your area of calling from God? My area of calling really is uh, just to make sure that the body of Christ things are working out the way God purposed them to work as per the word of God. That is my greatest occupation, just to make sure that things are working out well for the glory of God. And do you, en do you enjoy your calling? Oh yes, I do, wow. Um, I enjoy my calling because uh, when God calls you and when you start working in that assignment and you see how God is helping you to work in that assignment, it gives you joy and that's exactly where I am. I am very happy for what I'm doing. Okay, thank you. In the recently concluded general elections, what have you learned? Oh, I've learned that um, that there is a God in heaven who answers prayers. And most of the time, even when uh, people look down on you and want to just to, to see that you do not reach where God gave you the assignment to be, then God raises a standard and lifts you up before uh, the people who are against uh, that um, that seat that God has prepared for you. And for that matter, you'll, you realize that I'm just talking of the just ended elections of what God did to the man that is now president of this great Republic of Kenya. And I, I thank God for, for what just happened. Okay, thank you for your time. Have a lovely week. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.